Dr. Wood, Art of the Book, Miracles Minutes. I'm going to talk a little bit about Miracles Minutes. What is it? First of all, I'm taking on one of the biggest problems. One of the biggest problems is the price of health care. Every year, it goes up. Every year, it costs more. Every year, people bitch and complain about their premiums. Every year, your deductibles go up. Your benefits go down and your co-pays go up. Who's paying for it? You. You are. And it ain't getting any better. So the problem, big problem, is first of all, is the type of relationship that most people engage in in healthcare. It's called codependency. So what does that have to do with anything, Dr. Wood? Well, I suggest you do a little reading. So, if you study relationships, whether it's doctor-patient, husband-wife, co-dependency, <laughs> or someone's dependent upon the other, you're a bitch. You're a slave your whole life. You never learn how to take care of yourself, and you become more dependent. A drug addict becomes more dependent. I haven't seen their lives get better. So that's what dependency does. When you become dependent upon a system for you feeling good, you're going to lose. And let me show you what it looks like, okay? And see if you can disagree. <laughs> I don't care. All right, so you got health. You start with high health. For most people, you know, not everybody. I got that. But 85% of the people are born pretty healthy. Maybe even 90%. Over time, your health goes down. That's right, Dr. Wood. You get old, man. Well, what about the people who are 70s and 80s and 90s who are still running marathons? What about them? There's not a few of them. There's a bunch of them. What do they do? How do they live? You know? Stop blaming your goddamn genetics on everything, too. That doesn't help. You can't undo your genes. You know, maybe that will be one day. I don't know. Don't be blaming your parents and great-grandfather for what's wrong with you. Maybe you make bad decisions. It's not to make you a bad person. It's like, what I want for you is I want you to have it all. Okay? Do you want your health? Or do you want it to go downhill? Do you want to be in a nursing home? Do you want to be an invalid? Do you want to be living on lots of drugs all your whole life? And complain that you're always with the doctor? And complain how much your prescriptions cost? You're dependent. You're dependent. You know what you didn't learn? You didn't learn how to take care of yourself. The sad thing is no one wants to show you how to take care of yourself because there's no money in that. If you learn how to take care of yourself, then you don't need them and you're a guaranteed customer for life. As you slowly go downhill into the freaking graveyard and your life sucks. I don't want that for you. I want you to be as healthy as possible so then you can be, have a great relationship with your wife, you can create the business, you can be there for your kids, you can play with your kids, you can play ball, you can create a lot of things if you have health. I also want you to see, see let me show you how bad you're going to lose in the codependency relationship. Your health's going down, you start with low cost because you're not that sick yet, but then your costs go up. You lose all your money and you lose your health. You lose two ways. And you lose on the relationships and you lose out on your family and you lose out on living your life. No, it doesn't cost much. You just lose it all. You would be a loser. So what's Miracles of Minutes about? So it's about the relationship that I have with my patients. The relationship I'm looking to articulate to others say, look, I'm here for you. Okay, you and I are going to see eye to eye, doctor patient. You and I are going to work together. I'm going to teach you what no one taught you before. You're not going to sit here and lay on my table, lay down. I'll oh, just rub me, just rub me. I'll just put something on me, just put something. It's all passive. What's not in there is the participant. Like if you come to the classroom and you sleep to the classroom, you lose. You just lose the chance of making money. You lose the chance of learning something for yourself. I want you to see the opportunity that's here. You know, you can look at it many ways. Let's Maybe you can help do something great for this country. You know, instead of complaining about health care premiums, why, why don't you find out why they're so expensive? The prescription drug price is so high, Dr. Wood. Well, why is everybody on a prescription drug? <laughs> 
Maybe they are in this country. Don't get talked into shit. Like, what? The nat babies are born natural state most of the time. 90% of the time. I didn't say all. We're born healthy. It's pretty much a given. Most of the time. 90%. But if you don't learn how to take care of your health, just like if you don't learn how to take care of your child, this is not going anywhere. If you don't learn how to take care of your car, it's going to go in disrepair. No one's teaching you how to take care of yourself. And a lot of things are espoused in, you know, your fitness magazines and shit like that. Okay, let's go look at those. Oh, 70% of the people go to the gym and get injured. Yeah, but you're supposed to work out, Dr. Wood. Like, I got that. But you, you, you need a different way of thinking to pick what works for you and how your brain and body function together. It doesn't care about your opinion. I don't care how intelligent you are. You, you describe to me how your brain works in detail, how, in vast detail. You know so much, I want to hear it. I'm going to sit back and let you educate me. I'm not saying I know it all either. But to sit here, and speak arrogantly about a subject matter you know nothing about and, and articulate and say that you're right, then let's go apply your philosophy to everybody else. Please make a difference in the world with your bullshit. If you can, I'm, I'm taking notes because you are the master. What I'm standing for is this, is that <clears throat> we have a serious problem in, with health care. It's not health care, it's sick care. Would they do a great job at, you know, trauma, traumatic injury, you're having a heart attack, you just got in a car accident, you got your hand cut off, um, you need a life flight, <laughs> shoot, they are incredible. But what's not taught to human beings is how to truly take care of themselves, so per, true prevention. True prevention. Well, a lot of things that's called prevention are prevention. <laughs> There's a preemptive to a lot more treatment real fast, real soon, at a sooner date. Okay. You have to, I mean, think clearly about this. If you don't understand, let's just keep hitting your pocketbook up and see until you catch on. If you need me to, if you need someone to take more of your health away from you and you're going to bitch more, go ahead, go for it. This is not a conversation about being right. I want you to look at this stuff objectively and, and, and from a big picture to float above this. In every codependency relationship, the health of somebody is going down and the cost is going up to everyone. You know, I've been in a codependent relationship before, and I'll tell you what, <laughs> you lose. Everybody loses. So the doctor-patient relationship is codependent. Miracles and Minutes is about, hey, look, here's some things that you, you, you what, how is your brain wired? What is your body designed to do? How does it truly function? How can we take something that's very, very complicated and make it simplistic that a second grader can start to figure out? You know, this is the way the book is written. In doing so, you it ameliorates your fear. What's wrong with me? I got this pain. I can't figure it out. I got it. Okay? I'll teach you how to map it out in a simplistic thing so you, so you don't get so emotional about it. If you have the solution, your fear of the pain goes away. Even if you mess yourself up, you can get yourself right out of the hole. And that's the whole premise behind Miracles Minutes. So first is dig you out of the hole. Well, you know, where, where do you keep making the mistake at? You know, if you keep, you know, slicing your arm up and have to get it repaired again, like, <laughs> let's talk about how you walk. <laughs> like, why do you keep cutting yourself up and keep coming back to me to sew you up? This is going around in circles and it's a codependent and there's ignorance going on. So there's learning that hasn't occurred yet. Let's get into that learning. So Miracles and Minutes is about creating a relationship between patient and doctor in a format that has people proactively involved, not passive, codependent. I lay here, you do all the work. Hey, what's wrong with me? Uh, my doctor, he really loves me. Oh, he asks about my wife, my kids, and my dog, and he writes me a prescription. <laughs> That's like the teacher who just lets you just not really show up for class today, gives you an A, and you walk out. Oh, they really loved me. No, they didn't. Because at some point in the future, you're going to need the information he's supposed to have taught you and now you're not prepared. <laughs> you know what happens? It's going to cost you a shitload. That's not being nice. Well, that's being nice, but that's not being kind. That's not loving you. Loving you says, I want to help you become your best self. I want to set you up in a way in this relationship that you win and I win. We all win together. 
When you win and I win, the country wins. Everybody wins. There's still money to be made, so we're not destroying the economy here. You, maybe you're more, you have, have healthier. Let's, let, why are we engage in such, the only thing that's working right now is, is, is people get sick and then they pray off you. People pray on your ignorance. I mean, I don't set my kids up for people to pray. I don't set them up to become victims by being naive. You know, ignorance is not bliss. You know, and I, I don't like to see people taken advantage of or someone didn't help you, someone didn't support you, someone didn't help you learn to see your answers for yourself. I teach my kids the same thing, you know. I'm no different with my kids than I am with the mate that I'm with and I am with my patients. I am who I am. And I stand for your highest good. And I would like to see you, I mean, would you rather spend, you know, spend 10 grand with the hospital or would you rather spend 10 grand with your family going to Disney? Would you, and if you're sick at Disney and having to go get your meds, I mean, if you have to, I got it, you know, until you figure it out or until you build your health, health up enough. But why did you get in that situation to begin with? Maybe there's some emotional problems going on. Maybe you're trying to compensate for something. Maybe you don't know how to take care of yourself. Maybe you can't see when you make a mistake. Maybe you can't see how to get back on the path. Miracles Minutes is set up with a yellow, a red light. Stop doing that. Understand how your body's communicating to yourself. A yellow light. Are you better or worse? I don't know. Stop the presses. Let's find out. You know, don't keep hitting the gas pedal. <laughs> or a green light. Yeah, you know what? That really helped me. The next question is, did it help you a little bit or a lot? <clears throat> so if we want to solve one of the bigger problems is we have to look at the doctor-patient relationship, which is a codependency relationship. Um, and, and part of it is the way it's set up. Doctors just don't have time to talk to you or to educate you. It's easier to run you in and run you out and just write you a script. And second of all, they know most of the time you don't want to hear it anyway. You want to do your own thing. But at some point, you can start to see the price of the system gets to the point where eventually, do we want to do something about it? How, how much work, how much higher do you want the prices to go? How much more money do you want to lose every month? How, much, how high do you want your copay to be? How much more of the cost of your insurance is taken away from your income from work? You want the benefit package? Shit. I got a 5% raise, but my insurance went up 30%. Like, I'm taking on less money this month. I'm making less. You're making less. You're making less. You're making less. You have less to bring home for your family. And your health didn't get any better. And it's getting worse. You lose three times over, four times over, five times over. Codependency relationships never, ever work. You need an interdependency where you and the doctor work together as a team on your health to, to help educate you in a way that you can relate to and understand. The doctor's job is to make it so you understand what's going on. This is not a debate when you walk into my office about you know more than me. When I show up at my accountant's office, I shut the hell up because I don't know what I'm talking about. When I show up at my car mechanics, I don't know what I'm talking about. When I call my computer guy over here, I don't know what I'm talking about. That's why I'm calling him, because he's the expert. For some reason, people think they know so much about fitness and health. Well, where's your fitness results? Where are your health results? Show me your stellar health. I know so much about relationships. Show me your relationship results. You don't want to talk about that. But if we don't have the conversation, you don't get what you really wanted. So the, pro the what I'm bringing up is the conversation of, I want you to have the best. I want the best for you. I'm standing for your highest good, for your family's highest good, for the community's highest good, and the country's highest good. If we don't address this issue by addressing the type of relationship that starts out between doctor and patient, it's not going to get any better. It's just going to get more expensive. If you want to, Google codependency relationships and you'll find out it's a relationship that never works and it's not working out in the healthcare field. So I kind of took it on myself to address it and um, see if I, this is my solution. I'm not saying it's the best solution, but I'm taking a stab at it, Dr. Wood. Wishing you a great 2017. Great health for you. Great health for your kids. Uh, economic success. And I hope you get to keep more of your money so you can spend on the things that you truly love and enjoy versus spending on fighting off an illness. Thanks a lot.